Okay, here's the idea. We've got two unknown quantities, and we're going to pick variables to represent those unknown quantities. We can use L equal, whoops, number. The equation writer didn't let me use the number symbol. Number of large cups and S represent the number of small cups. And when you have two unknowns, you have to have two equations. So the first equation that I've written here is based on the number of cups. We're told that the total number of cups is 155. So S plus L has to equal 155. We could have, who knows, 100 small and 55 large or different combinations that add up to 155. The second equation is based on the amount of money that the cups of lemonade bring in. And each small cup brings in $1.25. So for example, if I have 10 small cups, I'll bring in $12.50, a dollar and a quarter for each small cup. And likewise, $2.50 is brought in for each large cup. The total amount of money brought in is $265. Now at this point, you have a couple of choices how to solve it. As you suggest, you can use the elimination or substitution method. One thing I would do for this second equation here, since I don't like to work with decimals, is multiply every term by 100 to move these decimal points over two places. So equation two, if I do that, becomes 125s plus 250l equals, if I multiply by 100, I've got to add two zeros. Now, I usually use the substitution method when I can get one of the letters by itself quite easily. So this first equation, if S plus L equals 155, then S has to equal, write it down here, 155 minus L. And what I'm going to do with that is substitute this expression into the other equation. So here's what I get after I use the substitution method. 125. This S right here is replaced with 155 minus L. And then I still have this plus 250L. And over here, I still have 26,500. Now I can see right now that every term is divisible by five. So I could make the number smaller by dividing every term by five. But if you don't see that, it doesn't matter. Just go ahead and distribute this 125. To remove the parentheses, I'm not going to do this calculation. 125 times 155, I'll leave that to you. 125 times minus L is minus 125L plus 250L equals 26,500. So I'll sort of finish up here by saying we can combine these two similar terms right here, containing L as 125L. I can subtract this term after I calculate what it is, or I could just write it like that if I wanted to. Minus 125 times 155. So L equals this side divided by 125. 26,500 minus 125 times 155. 
that whole side is divided by 125. Use your calculator or work it out by hand. Whenever you get what L is, you could substitute that in back here and subtract from 155, and you'd have the number of small cups. There you go. Hope that helped. There's other ways to do the problem, but that's one way. Thank you.